Hello, this is chapter 1.3, video 3. For this video, I want to show you guys the slope field applet that I've linked from the website. It's a handy little tool that can help a little bit in certain parts of this chapter and maybe even some future chapters. This is an applet which lets you see the slope fields and see some approximations of uh, certain differential equations. So let's try putting in the differential equation we had from a previous video. So we had dy over dx equals x plus y. You can see that these fields here let you set the boundaries of the screen here. So we, can, we want to go from x from minus 3 to 3 and y from minus 3 to 3, like we did in that video. Okay, and we can click Submit All. And there, you can see the slope field that we generated um, a few videos ago. Now, you can also click on the screen here to select an initial condition, say at 0, 0, or close to it. Or you can also clear it using this button. You can also add the initial condition on the screen here if you want to. So let's say I wanted to add x1, y0, and I could do it here instead, and you can see the initial condition. We have a few other options. You can change the number of segments in the x and y axis. So let's say I want the segments here to be more or less fine, uh, uh, let's say 10 segments instead. And you can see that I reduce the number of segments here. Right, and similarly with the y-axis, and there are a few other options you can play with too. And I, I encourage you to play around with this app a little bit, it's pretty interesting, and you can use it to check your solutions to certain problems as well. Right, and yeah, uh, just remember to clear if you want to start again. Yeah, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I will occasionally bring up this applet in class. And I'm not sure whether you'll have problems with the Java in the school lab computers. Let me know if you do. Uh, this requires you to have uh, a Java plugin installed in your browser. So, well, all the best. And uh, yeah, just good luck playing around. And there are, there are instructions on what to do on the website. There are several options on how to input differential equations in here, and I encourage you to play around with uh, that professor's website to check how to input certain differential equations. Alright then, goodbye.